This video is brought to you by WP Forms. WordPress 5.5 is coming out this month and we wanted to show you some of the features and the updates that are coming. In fact, by the time you're watching this video, if you watch it when it's released, it should be coming out tomorrow. So make sure you take a look at your website and see the changes. But let me walk you through what you can expect. Hey everyone, I'm Christina with WP Beginner where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. First, the block editor is becoming front and center for many of the people who still who are using the Gutenberg block or the block editor. And you'll see some improvements with that. One of the biggest ones is they've really showcased the add block plus button to make it really stand out. As you see here, you also have more lines and things around to let you know where you're at in the process and where you're going. You're also getting a new block directory, so it makes it easier to find the types of blocks that you're looking for. And you can also just search for them to find them here as well. And if there is a block that you can use, then you can do that. And if there's not one, you can add the block from here. And if you see there's not a block here for say a slider, but you can add these blocks and then they will automatically be available to your website. Next, you'll see something new called patterns. These are like blocks that are already ready to use with specific settings. You notice that they already have a feature set of three buttons and when you use it, it automatically brings in the settings that are popular and that you'll likely use for your area. So they're finding more and more ways to make adding different areas a lot easier, a lot quicker, a lot faster. And then you can simply adjust these patterns to your website specifically. And then as this grows, there's only a handful of these patterns right now, but as this grows, there will be more and more added as it gets more popular. And then they're making it easier to select individual blocks to move them where you need to. For instance, we are on this content type and I simply want to move it back and forth. Or if I want to go up to select the parent, which is the two column area, then I've got them both selected and you see it with the highlighted area. And then I can simply move up or down according to this. They're also making inline image editing much easier to do. For instance, we have this whole area up here where we can crop, we can add a link, we can resize and do so much more with this image without having to go anywhere else. So from here, you can apply any of these items, making it a bigger resizing it, zooming in, resetting it or rotating it if you need to. Several things that you can do straight from inline image editing area rather than having to go into a separate area and wasting time. Another area with images is with WordPress 5.5, they will have a default lazy loading of the images to someone's browser. And this will happen with all of the major modern browsers except for Safari. So lazy load, it will automatically have the loading attribute to the image and that will support all web browsers. On the maintenance and security side, they have updated it to where it you can choose to auto update your plugins and your theme. So let's go to plugins and we'll go to installed plugins. And now you'll have an area where you can automatically update, enable automatic updates on the ones that you want. WordPress 5.5 will also create an XML sitemap for your website if you don't already have one. XML sitemap is just a great way to tell Google all of the posts and pages and images and custom post types that your site has to let Google know what all your site is about. And with 5.5, the sitemap will automatically be generated if you don't already have an SEO plugin. But don't worry, if you use all-in-one SEO or Yoast SEO, they will continue to support their own version of creating the sitemap. That way you have more granular control over your sitemap and how you customize it. Another really cool feature that they have is the ability to update a plugin or a theme straight from your dashboard. And to show you what this looks like, I'm going to reinstall or re-upload the WP Forms plugin that I have. WP Forms is a great, easy to use drag and drop form builder for your website. It can be as easy as just creating a simple contact form. It can go as, as advanced as creating a total automation for your office or for your business. To get started, you can head over to wpforms.com forward slash WP beginner to get the best discount on WP forms. But what you need to do is 
when updating any of your plugins or any of your themes, if you're having an issue with it, or if you just want to showcase the feature like I am, you could go to add new and I'll simply re-upload the plugin, pick WP forms, and it's a zip file that you can install. Once you click install, whereas before it would say this folder or this file is already created or this folder already exists, and then it would just bounce out or it would just not let you move forward. You'd have to go into your FTP client or into your file manager on your, in your hosting provider in order to do that. And instead you can upload it and it'll tell you that it plugin already is installed, but it'll tell you what the current one is and it'll tell you what the uploaded one is. So you can choose, okay, how do I want to do this? And you can also choose to back up your files and database first. You can replace the current one with the uploaded one that you do, or you can cancel and go back. So it's a really streamlined process of dealing with reinstalling a plugin or reinstalling a theme. So you can do that with plugins as well as themes. And then as always, they have a few under the hood changes that are really specific to developers or people who like to get into the details of it. If you want to read the items under the hood, make sure you read our written article in the description below where it talks about the other changes that they've done for the developers. And let me know in the comments below, which one is your favorite new feature that's coming out tomorrow and why? And thanks for watching.